Life without Jesus in the darkness was quite hard for me. I really, really struggled with depression and even when I started coming to church at the very start, I was still really, really struggling. And one day I was in a &E after leaving school because I just, I just gave up. We all go through times where it's like we struggle and we don't know, like I had my fair share of having doubts and just not knowing like whether what I was believing was true. It was when my mom started coming to church that I realised that there was a greater light to live for. I grew up in a Christian home, so I guess I knew that there was a greater light like my whole life, but of course I had to make that decision for myself. I knew there was a, a greater light to live for. There was a, a, a deeper meaning as to why I was created when I had what people would describe as an encounter with God. When I first went to church I thought they were all crazy because they were all standing there with their hands up and singing praises to God. I started reading the New Testament and the Gospel and that just blew my mind seeing all that God had done for me. I just realised that God wasn't some genie, that he could just grant all my wishes. It was more about having a relationship with him and just growing stronger with him. It was a moment where I kind of just began to cry because I was sorry for the fact that someone would have died for me and the fact that maybe my sins would have put him on a cross. And I think for me, the struggle was actually the beginning of it, going back to my roots and going back to what God actually means to me. And the sad, um, the sad truth of it is that for so long I had listened to the, the kind of the lies of the enemy and, and I was living in darkness and pretending that everything was okay. Mom wanted me to go to a prayer meeting that was on and I was like I've been coming to church I've been praying you can't pray depression away. There'd be times when I'd be coming to chapel and I just wouldn't feel like praising God I'd just be sitting there and um, but it's times like those when you have to power through and you just come out the other side and you just feel so much better. So one girl called Bridie started praying and she was like God I pray that you put the right doctors in place so that people with depression, even if some of them need medication, that that's what's best for them. And that's when I started thinking, this is God speaking to me right now through Bridie. Like, he knows how I'm feeling. He knows that I'm like really down and that I do need medication to help me with this. And it was just a nice, it was him showing me the light basically, because he was speaking to me through Bridie, telling me that, he was there with me and he was helping me through this. Now that I've come out from the darkness, I've gotten to a place where I'm, I'm complete and I, I'm happy in what Christ has for me and, and I don't want to go back to the darkness because I know there's nothing there that I need. There's nothing there that will satisfy me the same way Christ has. And I think before the struggle was actually the hard part because I, I, was, I was fooled. And I was tricked into thinking that, um, that this was for me and I, I listened to the lies. And, and it's only now that I look back on it that I can thank God that in his mercy um, he's brought me back into the light and he's restored me and, and I'm, I'm back in a place now where, where I'm at peace with God. Um, I'm now off medication and there are still bad days but it's a lot better now that I know I have God there with me. Even though there's going to be dark times and there's going to be hard times and you won't know what to do, like in the end God has a bigger plan for you. I know that God's light is in me, in his Holy Spirit, so I can go out in the world of darkness and be a light.